What's up guys, Brian Phobos here. Today I just want to talk about some trends, YouTube trends and Google trends in the overall crypto market. So let's look at some different YouTubers and this is one of the things that I kind of look at uh, because when we were going down in 2018, a lot of people are losing subscribers or you're essentially on a treadmill where you're losing just as fast as you're gaining. Um, so Sonny Decree here, he's gaining, you know, he's, he's steadily gaining. On his channel oftentimes he, he's really good at thumbnails you know it's you know there's always like something he's pointing at and there's a circle that really pulls a lot of people in they think there's gonna be some exact science he's gonna show them um, you know again it's all just pseudoscience but he is gaining crypto zombie same thing if you look at a lot of the screenshots a lot of the thumbnails it includes some sort of chart and some sort of arrow potentially pointing at a particular particular candlestick or some little red circle. Um, he is he is gaining actually faster than a lot of the other YouTubers, and at this point, you know he's at eighty four thousand subscribers, so he's he's actually moving fast. Chico Crypto, he is gaining steadily gaining. He's at um, 54,870. That Martini guy, uh, and at one point, so he's gaining a lot slower. He's gaining, um, but he's getting a lot slower. It's like he kind of slowed down right there for a moment. He was pounding out videos pretty consistent, and I think he had to maybe pull back on that. Maybe the money just wasn't kind of flowing in from that. But he's got over 30,000 subscribers at this point. Crypto Daily. I think pretty much everybody at some point has probably tripped across a crypto, crypto daily video. He's um, gaining steadily you know, at this point, 141,000 subscribers. I think in general, everybody pretty much likes crypto daily um, just from the fact that it's lighthearted. He, he doesn't take himself too seriously and all that. So he's not polarizing. He's pretty much everybody just likes him. Altcoin Daily, 128,000 subscribers, and they are gaining actually like pretty solidly. If you look at this, you know, then their views are actually going up. So they're, they're actually tapping into the YouTube algorithm and getting their stuff served up, and maybe it's just consistency, that kind of thing. Data Dash. This one's a surprising one, obviously, and maybe some of you already knew this. 321,000 subscribers, which is pretty insane. Now, he talks about more than crypto, which was, you know, in a lot of ways, probably a good move, you know, just to kind of diversify, talk about precious metals, talks about stocks and options, that kind of stuff. Um, he is, he's, he's slowly gaining, or, you know, gaining at a decent clip, uh, I guess you could say. Now, if you look at Google Trends, you know, for, for Bitcoin and all that kind of stuff, it all, it just, it's a reactionary thing with that. It spikes when, you know, stuff hits the news and people start searching for it. A lot of volume in Nigeria, South Africa, Ghana, uh, you know, obviously places with currency crisis and hyperinflation, it's, it's, people are maybe searching out more. They need an option to get away from their fiat currency. Uh, now, if you look again, Data Dash, it kind of seemed like he slowed down maybe at one point. Nah, I mean, I guess not. He's been pretty consistent, you know, almost this a month ago. He's not necessarily doing one a day, it doesn't look like. Here recently, he has been six days ago, five days ago, four days ago, three days ago, a day ago, 10 hours ago. So he seems like he's pretty consistent here in the last week you know, gaining pretty heavily. But again, there's the constant, tr you know, <laughs> and these, these guys, you know, and, and you know, I, maybe I'm just kind of the fool for not just giving into it and just making my thumbnails just some kind of a, you know, just some kind of a chart, you know, doing, um, you know, just putting that up there and drawing an arrow pointing to something, pointing an arrow pointing to something. Like, oh, I figured something out. Um, you know, they're, they're kind of just playing the game 
and that's what sucks a lot of people in. Now, here's some of the ones that are sort of surprising. They're kind of losing subscribers. Uh, subscribership, 120,000 for Crypto News. And he is actually kind of slightly losing here. Um, so that's, that's sort of interesting. I'm not really sure why that's happening. Trayvon James, he's actually losing at kind of a decent rate. I don't know. You know, if people, you know, at, at some point are just kind of like, you know, he's just talking about these scammy little Tron daps and stuff like that, and they just they don't want to hear about it or something. Uh, Suppo man, he really slowed down on his video creation. He's losing subscribers. And then Doug Polk, this was kind of interesting because he's not really putting up very many videos. I mean, he did the one for Facebook for the Libra situation, uh, but he doesn't hardly put up any videos, and he's losing subscribers. So I don't know what's causing people to want to go into their subscriberships and get rid of him if he's not putting out any videos. Uh, but if you look at his poker channel, which he's a lot more active on, he's actually gaining at a really good pace. Uh, so that is that is pretty interesting. That's where he's focusing his energy is on that poker channel, it seems. And, um, you know, we we'll look at mine. Come on. And like I'm gaining slowly. It's not going very fast. Uh, again, but obviously if you play this whole thing out, you see the view spike and then for a while I stopped making videos because I actually didn't get monetized for eight months, which that was, you know, that was pretty upsetting. And then, you know, now that I am monetized, a lot of times you can't, it, it's hard to get the traffic to a lot of these videos uh, but it just in general I mean just in general it's it's a lot about consistency and then the way the thumbnail is and if you focus you know on this you know you see like everything's kind of chart related um, you know if, if you look at these guys who are able to you now let's go to sunny decrees If you look at the guys who are, you know, again, he's drawing the wedge. He's got this. He's got the red circles. Got an arrow pointing there. You know, again, same thing. You know, drawing the wedges, making it look scientific. You know, all this kind of stuff. And and really, to be honest with you, you know, I just, I, 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 <laughs> I really don't want to give into that. Uh, just because, to me, it's just... I want to say like a lot of things are clickbaity, but um, it's just kind of and to me it's just kind of misleading that it's it's like oh look at this like you know there's this one particular thing I found out and I'm gonna show you this scientific thing. Uh, it's just I don't know I just don't really want to give into that, but I guess forgive me if I start making thumbnails with little red circles around candlesticks and little red arrows pointing in there and that has nothing to do with what I'm really talking about I'm not really like focusing in on that um, you know we'll see on that but I think too another thing and I'm, I'm gonna I'm actually gonna do another video just more in regards to building like a new a new YouTube channel and stuff and how difficult it is uh, these guys are actually like with the crypto they're doing a lot better than me but if you look out throughout the summer you know I put up like three videos this summer um, didn't really feel like I had a lot to say. Secondly, I was just focused on other things. So uh, it does it does set you behind. Like if you're not cranking out like a new video each day, and then you're putting it basically on auto, you know, release. Uh, YouTube the YouTube algorithm likes consistency. So um, you almost have to preload these videos and have them like kick out automatically and all that kind of stuff. And my main goal with this channel is like you know getting it kind of in position because when we go parabolic the next time then all these people are gonna flood back into YouTube uh, but there is positive the thing I want to show you guys with this is 
there is positive movement on some of these channels as far as like people engaging. There was one point where like pretty much everybody was losing subscribers in 2018 and it was almost, it was almost, a, um, it would almost cause you to lose more subscribers if you put out videos because people didn't want to hear about it. They felt like, you know, they got hit in the teeth and they just did not want to be reminded of it. So um, the positive thing is people are gaining subscribers. People are watching. And if you look at some of these, uh, obviously, if you look at these viewer counts, let's say Sonny's channel, 13K, 20K, 19K, 9.3K, 17K, 18K. Uh, here's one is 25k. So you're getting decent viewership just in general. So anyway, guys, I thought that'd be interesting just to see some of these channels. Who's gaining? Who's losing? I think it's a positive sign. People are kind of coming back around or there's new people kind of coming in and taking a look at crypto that maybe uh, weren't as involved in it or maybe you kind of like lightly knew about it. But anyway, please subscribe. It definitely helps me out. Leave a like. And follow me on all social media at Brian Phobos, YouTube, Instagram, Twitter, Steam it. See you guys later.